Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on advanced Fortran program. Sorry, I'm still stuck in that hangover of I'm still stuck in that Fortran programming stuff. This is a, a, a series of tutorials on LaTeX programming. Sorry about that. Okay, okay. Now in this tutorial, we'll be looking at the document types, uh, title contents, and uh, environment comments. Okay, uh, as mentioned over here. Now, uh, first of all, let's see what are the different types of document comments. As I mentioned earlier. Documents are of many types and they are defined by class files. Okay, so if you want to create a document class, okay, then you have to create a class file. So the default class file is article, but it need not be the same as uh, the, the standard uh, art class files that are available: are article, uh, report, reports, letters, and chapters. Okay, and uh, beam and beamer is also possible. Okay, beamer is actually for presentation. Okay, so these are all the default class. These are all the cla default class files like article, report, chapter, letter, beamer, and all. Okay, whereas other things like paper, proposals, and several others. Okay, these are not the standard um, pro uh, style class files in. Uh, these are not the standard class files in uh, LaTeX, but you can create them on your own. How? There is a facility. Okay. To there's a facility to create your own document class file. Okay, using yeah, I mean that is possible by making uh, making use of class files. Okay, now that uh, that involves a lot of tech, and that's very hard to follow. And I, I uh, that's very hard to follow. So I will not be recommending you guys do that unless otherwise you have an extreme need. Okay, and then in all that default article classes, article classes. Uh, they come in they have a standard font size there are three standard font sizes, namely 10 11 and 12 okay but when you write these numbers it is necessary to write this pt word along with it so if you just write 10 you'll just throw an error latex will throw an error uh, how but other than that okay you have facility to slightly increase or decrease the font size from these values uh, from these values proportionately uh, in the in the document when that is possible using uh, certain commands and we'll get to th we'll get to them in some we'll get to them in some tutorials one or two tutorials okay and then if I were to compile all this you'll get all this information okay you see that uh, there is a, there has been a small indentation issue over here okay I'll explain you guys uh, how this indentation is indentation and all is carried on over here okay and how this line breaks and all has happened and all in upcoming tutorials okay and then uh, next we look at uh, let's let's we we'll, let's let's look at the user details let user details now now there are multiple user details available in latex okay those are namely author name date title subtitle institution logo etc okay if you have if you fill these commands if you fill these comments okay uh, then uh, your data uh, your what is what do I say your title page gets and gets filled with uh, filled with uh, many more detail many more details now uh, one important thing is that all these fields are not available for all class files or uh, for all class files they vary for different class files meaning meaning some of them are common for all class files like the name author and type like the author name and title and all and even date whereas some of them are specific for each of the class for each of the classes for some for instance uh, this thing this uh, command institution and logo these are all specific for uh, beamer cl beamer classes okay and then if you guys want to change the date okay default by default whenever you compile LaTeX it takes the date on which you have compiled and it presents over there on the other hand if you want to change the date on your own okay use this date command and write write in the date in any uh, any order you want. You can put the year front or the date date front or the month front, or you can just jumble up these in as per any order you want, and then type, 
and then okay and then uh, run this run this it will the data will get automatically changed as per what you give over here suppose if you want okay let me comment this out okay sorry comment this out okay suppose uh, you want okay suppose you want the the compiles day the, the date on which the uh, file was compiled and you want that to present every time whenever you compile you want the date to be changed automatically on the to the date when it's compiled what you have to do is that you have to use uh, today's date okay i'll make this simple suppose if you want to use today's date instead of that in, uh, and you want that to be replicated every time instead of changing the date manually what you can do is that there is this option uh, come and call us today now what it does is that it just uh, wherever you have this command today that will be replaced by the today's date in a stand in a format okay and that format will go like the american format wherein uh, the american time format wherein you have the month date and then the year in that kind of a, that kind of an arrangement okay now the thing is if the make title is not given as i mentioned in early early tutorials the make title if the make title command is not given okay your title is absent if only when it is present your title is present all right and that's the that's about the that's about the uh, come uh, that's about the title document title title document attributes and then let's look at comments 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 uh, pa comments and uh, environment uh environment comments okay i'll explain what this means comments usually follow usually uh start sorry start with the backslash oh, what am i typing backslash symbol okay so that uh, so that uh, so for example today make title x today make title uh, uh, make index okay etc these are actually commands which these are actually commands so if you guys notice that being the case this date is a command author is a command title is a command use package is a command document class is command and so on and so forth okay now these are all comments so in that case even begin is a command and end is a command okay but however environment commands have a have a slight difference okay environment environment commands and environment commands St not co mean not usually commands in latex commands in latex start with the backslash okay environment environment command commands start with start with uh, backslash Uh, just like just like normal commands commands but they occur in pairs they but they occur in pairs example example begin document begin document uh, end document like these these are all these are all actually called as environment com environment commands okay so this this what it does is that uh, these say, uh, okay i'll explain environment commands okay uh, create uh, a region region of special for special formats or create a region of special formats or special f features within 
the document so if you want to write any equations or something uh, write a set of equations or place a picture or place a table or write something within the within quotes or write a theorem and all all of these are all of these are not the standard commands not all of these are not the standard commands wherein we just or, or anything that has some standard values wherein but these are some special ones wherein you have to make you have to tell the compiler that you are going to add something special or inside so to make that kind of a feature available you need this you need environment comments so uh, that's intuitively okay you are able to write the entire document because you are you because you are using an environment command called as begin document so anything that begins with a be begin and ends with hand has an end okay they are all actually environment comments okay they uh, they start with the uh, begin and end with an end end with an end okay that's how they look like so if i were to compile this okay the document okay if i were to compile this uh, it just writes over here so this is the stark difference between commands and environment variables okay all always the environment variables begin with a start with a begin and terminate with an end okay and you have to write what kind of an environment variable is using the curly braces whereas commands usually stay commands usually stay uh, single with then they start with a backslash backslash symbols okay now now these are all the ter terminologies i have to keep tell you guys now in the next tutorial onwards we will be jumping into direct uh, to we'll be done jumping into direct uh, concepts direct concepts and we're looking at uh, some the applications as we go along as we go along and also I'll explain to you guys why you have this kind of an indentation and all okay thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next tutorial so bye bye